Hi, hello everyone, and welcome back to our Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition multiplayer series between myself, Berg787, and Grey Hunter. Say hello. Hello. All right. Uh, in between episodes, we just did a little bit of housekeeping. Namely, we uh, what that two, three things I identified. One was a potion, which is okay. It's a nice potion, but it deals with disease. The other thing was like a necklace, which was shit, which we sold. But the one good thing that we found was the laurel, and um, the laurel. It's pretty good for Adria. It's, it's yeah, it's it not over. bad. It's um, it's Sun's Sunes. I don't know, Laurel of Favor. And the thing that it does is it for one adds armor class, which is nice. But it also adds plus one charisma, so it would be decent for a bard. But even if you don't have a bard, it's amazing for a druid because druids apparently use charisma in this version of Dungeons and Dragons. I'm not entirely sure why, but they do, and it increases their chance to cast the spell well or something like but the, that. The doubly handy thing was because at first we were kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, but like, because helms, like normal helmets don't increase your armor class, but they do protect against critical hits. So it was kind of like, okay, it would be nice to wear the helm, but then it was sort of like, oh yeah, I wonder if Audrey can wear it because Audrey can't yeah. wear armor normally. And yes, yeah, she can, so it increases her armor class, which is awesome. It's and also it not metallic, which means that, yeah. you know, she, she can actually well, wear it because druids can't wear that... metallic stuff. Anything that increases her armor class is just awesome. So. It is. She's down to two now. She's actually doing uh, pretty well, good. That makes her pretty competent. So. All does. right. Anyway, away we go to the third tower, I suppose, if you will. Consider it done. So one of the towers was nothing. The other one was a bunch of shadow priests and acolytes and all that. Jazz. What's behind door number three? Um. So. There's some. Oh, not another woman. Unless I've got nothing I... against women. It's just that I have to voice Wait. them. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to voice a man. I'm running out of women voices. Well. Where are you going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back. <laughs> She's scared. I'm here. She's like, oh my god. All, right. all these well, people. You initiate the talk because then you can press the button. Alright. Come here. Talk to me, Kalesa. Adventures. Here in the hand of Strodrin, <laughs> you must have fought past the horde below. Battle ready, I take it? Tell me, why are you here? <laughs> oh, she speaks. Well. Make fun of her voice. <laughs> I, I would never do that. I'd never do that. We seek to find Laryl. Evil stalks the land, and we need his powers to find the source. We seek to find Laurel. Evil stalks the... L oh, no, sorry, he does. <laughs> I thought she was being really petulant and just repeating what you said. <laughs> so I read... The, I, like, the bars maxed up for me, so I can see what... Was oh, I see, right. right. Uh, a noble that's cause, beautiful. that's something my heart has yearned for. What I would give to ride once again for such causes. Well-met adventures. My name is Kalesa. I am... Was... The weapon master of the hand. Wouldn't that be Weapons Mistress? Well, apparently not. Hmm. With that all said, you must have some questions that need answering. Yeah, um... First off... How is it that you're so sane and coherent? I almost did the same thing there. Um... <laughs> When the Hand was at the pinnacle of its glory, I trained my people in the ways of combat. No one could best my de de deafness with the sword of, or my accuracy with the bow. Well, that, that's all, right, all no well one, and good, but that doesn't no really one, answer no one, my question. Uh, no one likes a bragger as well. Exactly. All my soldiers were honed to perfection. When we were called to battle, it did not take long before our enemies found their forces in chaos and retreat. Yeah, yeah, okay. Elven master race, we get it. Yep, yep. Those days are long gone. Any of my soldiers that remain are twisted shadows of their former selves. I differ from them only in that I have retained my senses. It is a curse, knowing what we've become and powerless to do anything about it. Yeah, she's actually kind of right. That sounds like the worst fate. You know, like, at least the other ones are zombies. They don't know that. I, I was about to nuts. say, it's kind of like, the, the bad thing about zombies is the fear of becoming a zombie. But once you're actually a zombie... I mean, all you really give a fuck about is brains. 
Well, yeah, so, well, like, what are they doing? They're just like, hey, look, something came in. We need to try and kill it. But, I mean, that, that's the, like, sorry, just to get a bit sort of philosophy, a philo- philosophy, you know what I mean, about it. Um, it well, it's kind of like with death. Once you're dead, not that big a deal, but it's the fear of death, which is the annoying part. And Next someone week who's... on Philosophy with Berg, well, no, 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 we no, discuss no, someone... existentialism. So, someone who's had to deal with, you know, life-threatening illnesses, um, it, it's not the fear of dying in a sense, it's the fear of being told you have six months, you have a year, you have two years, whatever the time might be to live. That's the thing that fucks with your mind a lot more than actually dying. But anyway, it is true. enough about that. Uh, what do you want to say next, though? Well, you know, by sympathy, it's bye-bye. <laughs> well, I, th- I feel like... We need to she find wants something. Her. Yeah, I feel like she can help us, though. Like, <coughs> oh, Sorry, it's dusty in here. Yeah, so if we find the guy who caused all these problems, maybe we can help her. So let's go with number one. Finding Laryl will not be easy. When the hand fell, he was damned. He is now a Baelnorn, an elven leech-like creature doomed to live forever. How this came about, I do not know. I thought elves lived forever anyway. Yeah, but he's like undead. Undead living forever. Yeah, he's he's undead elf, not like regular elf. You may have seen Laryl as you have explored the hand, but what you saw is not truly him. It is more a sending, a figment of himself that wanders the hand. Laryl, the true Laryl, is the top Labellus Tower. We've we've heard about this Labellus Tower. We have. So I'm guessing the tower that we found that was blown to shit isn't Labellus. Probably not. Every time I have seen Laryl's sending, it has rambled on like a village idiot. With one exception. Once it mentioned something about Laryl's great astrobal and how it was no longer turning. Oh, I can't believe his astrobal's no longer turning. <laughs> his astrobal? How did you get that? There's no second L. Astrolabel. Astrolabel. Why did you pronounce it then? An astrolabe. Astrolabe. An astrolabe. Okay. All right. That's what I think. All right. Just because Tell... English is my, f- just because English is my first language, elven contraptions aren't my first language. Fuck you. Well, astrolabe. alrighty then. <laughs> That's what you're here for to correct me. <laughs> Tell me more what? about astrolabes. Uh, Laryl's astrolabel. <laughs> Laryl's astrolabe. Uh, is a wondrous device constructed to help him and his wizards research space and time. As I recall, Laryl and his wizards were using it during the last days of the hand. See, you know when they were naming the thing, they just went Astro Lab. Add an E. That makes it sound fantastical. Astrolabby. Exactly. In the aftermath of the, in the aftermath of the hand's destruction. I found this piece of machinery, which I believe to be a piece of Laryl's Astrolab. After seeing the state of mind of most everyone left in the hand, I have held on to it and guarded it. The last thing I wanted was someone using the power held within this piece to cause further harm to the hand. See, that's interesting. The hand's, the hand's pretty fucked. I don't think more harm can really happen to it. Yeah, I'm not sure that we can really ruin it anymore. But that's interesting that she's holding on to a piece of machinery too. Because we found one in the other tower, remember? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, well... This is clearly going to be a side quest. She's clearly going to want something in return, so let's just cut straight to the chase. We may need that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Your intentions may be noble, but I'm afraid I cannot entrust you with this item yet. You will need to prove yourselves first. See, no one ever ever just says, Sure, here, have this thing. It will help you in your quest. They're like, no, I need something. Yeah. Oh, it's annoying. What, 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 is she, what does she even need? I mean, come on. She's like a half undead creature. I mean, this is trying to help her, right? We need this thing bored. to go and try she's and probably help. probably bored. That's what I would imagine. She's bored. Well, maybe. The elves atop this tower were among the most dedicated soldiers. Whatever curse befell the hand not only twisted their bodies, but twisted their minds as well. They act and live as if in the final moments of the hand forever prepared to defend against any intrusions to this tower. Yeah? I get the feeling what? that she's going to ask us to kill them, like the priestess did. Well, it's not as if we've not killed millions of things before. This is true. My, my soldiers do not deserve what has befallen them. 
They deserve to die in battle. They would want to meet their end with steel in their hands upon the battlefield. I would ask that you climb the tower and send them to eternal rest. All right, we will send them to Elven Valhalla. Cool. Because that's what this is. That's totally what this is. You have my heartfelt thanks. Oh, okay. Oh. Bye-bye. Well, it's all right. yeah, it's basically just come back when you're done. All right, fine. What's in here? Locked. Okay, let's see if we can do something about that lock. What do you want? You... Yeah, I was wondering if you really wanted to do that. I uh, will just kill him. Who cares? True. Funny shadow walks. Get him. Death comes for you. All right. Well, what's in the next out. one? I guess. Yeah, let's just go and deal with that one first. Free XP is good XP. Hello. Ooh! That was a trap. There we go. Thanks for helping us, uh, lady. The by way. Yeah, I, I'm wondering why she didn't bother to do anything. So, I guess we might as well head up. If yeah. let's go. Yeah. Let's get ready to rumble. She said, "Upward, ever upward." Let's get ready to rumble. Get ready, and steady, and rumble. I'm hey, everybody, ready. rumble. It was a trap. I'm here. Okay. This doesn't surprise me in the slightest. All right. Um, it looks like there's a bunch of archers, and we have to fight okay. through these swordsmen first to get to them. Courage will be cast. Ready? Yeah. I'm thinking I that we need to try and get past these guys and head straight for the archers, otherwise they're just going to murder right. us. All right, ready? Yep. Give the word. Consider it done. Go, Adria. Go, go. Annoy them. There we go. All right, that that's not going Stop exactly that. as planned. Stop that. Oh, has she got any? Has she got any uh, potions? Um, maybe. Yes. Drink that. You need me. All right, I'm gonna go f me. punch these archers in the face with my sword. Wrong. Okay. Have you got the guys on the ramp thing? Oh God damn it! Now she's like she just doesn't want to drink the potion, but at least now she's healing herself. Name your test. There we go. Alright. It wasn't that bad. She took a few licks, but... Yeah, it's because right. I put her on to um, casting spells, like, in support. <laughs> she decided to stand there and go, let me cast spells whilst people are fighting. Yeah. I wish the script for that particular thing was a little bit better. Uh, we can't go up the stairs. The stairs have been barricaded, preventing entrance, so I guess we what have to go up the... What? Oh, right, there is a mound. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. You want. so I guess up the ramp. Uh, I thought that was it. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Let's go back and speak to him. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Somehow, I don't think it would be that easy. Yeah, we're finished. <laughs> it would be you. nice if you could lie, though. And just be like, yeah. oh, yeah, we totally did that. We oh, damn totally yeah, we killed them. Killed them ages ago. Uh. Okay, what are we facing? Uh, Basically the same thing again. I really want to see if Stink Cloud works on them. Well, give it a go. Something amiss? Because this would help massively if Stink Cloud does work on them. <laughs> well, it might. I mean, they're not entirely dead, are they? So, no. maybe. Hold on. Give the word. All right, ready? Indeed. I don't think it did a damn thing. With all haste. Unaffected, yeah. Okay, well, it was worth finding out. It was. What do you want? Although now it's kind of messed us up a little bit. Do you want to yeah. retreat back downstairs? Uh, I'm thinking that might be the best plan. Consider it done. 
Will they follow us, though, I wonder? Well, maybe. If they do, good. We'll beat them up downstairs. <laughs> That's but true. yeah, I thought it was—I thought it was worthwhile checking out. Like, yeah, yeah. True. True, true. Maybe I need to change Stink Cloud then to something else. For this. Well, see, Stink Cloud would be useful if we, we weren't facing know. undead things. I think. Well, that's what I mean. So, like, I'm gonna actually look to change Stink Cloud. You know, what? I'm gonna do it now. Let me just pause it in case they do come downstairs. Um, where is Stink Cloud? Okay, so if we get rid of Stink Cloud. And I could switch it for horror. They're probably not going to be affected by horror. Uh, blindness. I don't think they're going to be affected by any of this shit. Well, another acid arrow thing is probably useful. Yeah. All right, another acid arrow. I don't think they're coming up or coming down. Well, it is paused. Is it? No, I've unpaused it. Oh, no, there we go. But yeah, I think you're right. I don't think they're coming to... Make way. see what we're doing. You want to go back up? Well, I'm concerned that we're going to end up in the stink cloud. The thing but is, we kind is of have to chase them. I was going to say, is the stink cloud going to wear off while we're not there? I don't know. Well, let's go and find out. I mean, in this case, I don't want to sound like I'm just being a bit gung-ho, but it's sort of like, well, what else are we going to do? You know, they're not going to come chase us. We've got to come up in there. Hopefully the stink cloud wore off. I would, I would appreciate that. But somehow Man, I be, think it would be that they cast easy. Cloud, like, imagine they had the ability to cast it and they just cast it there and then just kept firing. That would be awesome. Like, Well, it wouldn't be awesome for us, but it would be awesome for them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, great tactics. Cast the Stink Cloud and then fire from within the Stink Cloud. It would be pretty handy. All right, I'm going to go and flank the archers and hopefully stab them in the face with my spear. All right. Stop it. Stop it. Ow. That's my body. Look, why are you fucking using your... Yeah, that, that's not working. That's really not working. Shit. You not got any potions left? No, I do have potions, but I'm, like, standing right in the middle of them. This, this is probably going to go poorly. Alright, potions have been drunk. I, I don't know, I'm not sure whether or not we should just retreat so she can heal up a bit. All right, let's retreat. Because I just don't trust these people not to kill her. Let's retreat. Or for the AI not to be stupid. And Why can't we that... retreat? Oh, no. I so it wasn't letting us get out, but that's fine. Because right. I imagine that the AI would decide, you know what, right now is a you great were, time. You weren't charging in with, uh, with Juno, though. Yeah, she got stuck behind everybody. I'm I'm not appreciative of this. Because it put it a ranged? Why would it do that? No, standard attack. I think it does that if they get stuck or something like that because there's been a, or if someone's engaging them because there's been a couple of times where Berg's switched over to um He switched over to his hand to hand weapon. Oh, no, 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 it was on Juno, it made her go into ranged attack script. But she doesn't have a ranged weapon, so she did nothing. Good All job, right. game. Alright, let's go back up and... Yeah, there we, we go. Give the word. Make way. Attack. Gave her a bit of bark skin? I did. Good. She has some bark skin going for her. She had iron skin on before, but apparently the archers shot her quickly enough that it went away before she got to use it Sorry, to any you. appreciable degree. You want to be shot by arrows? Because you're going about it the right way. Yeah. Alright, come here. We are going to have a reckoning, you and I. Don't go down there, you stupid little dwarf prick. Why are you, How do you like them apples? Alright, that was pretty easy once we sorted that out. Okay, this way. <laughs> oh no, there's a there's a chest. Right. There's two sets of ways out of here. Let's go down that corridor. Uh -huh. Ooh, some arrows. Alright, first things first. Egg go into gem thing. What are these? Fire shield. Ooh. Fire shield sounds promising. It's not bad. 
And what's this other one? Belton's Burning Blood. The spell turns a target's blood into flame, doing 3d4 hit point damage every round and driving the victim berserk with pain. That actually Mm -hmm. sounds really good. Yeah. Alright. It's alright, I suppose. Ah, didn't write it, unfortunately. Here's some arrow, two plus arrows, so you can have them. With, uh, oh, I've given them to the wrong person. I gave them to Juno by accident. What are they? Arrow of the hand plus two. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Are we going this way then? Well, you said the to go down the, the corridor thing. Corridor. Colors are calling me. But are they? Are they really? Or are you just imagining it? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Ooh! What the hell is this? Ooh! It seems like an ambush. What the hell? Oh, they slowed us. Well, I've got something for that. Yeah, how about that? How'd you like them apples? Slow me, I'll haste me. <laughs> we have all been hasted. All right, let's keep going before it wears off. Oh, no, some of us are still slowed, though. How awkward. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I'm, I'm coming. coming. <laughs> I'm coming. Very Wait. slowly. Do you reckon this takes us to Lavalus Tower? Maybe. Oh, who opened that door? I don't know, and that scares me. But on that note of things that scare me, ends of episode yeah, scare yeah, me. So. All right, cool. Well, there we go. We're quite in a mysterious place. I'm not even sure if this is the right way to go now. I feel like maybe we should go back and make sure we finish off that actual tower. Because this seems to be taking us to... You, you know my theory I've said before, like, just take the first exit. Even though that technically wasn't the first exit, but I feel like we've moved on to a different area, whereas if we go back, that's still the same tower. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm, I don't know. This looks like the living quarters thing again, so maybe we've ended up in, like, the barracks. And we but there's, were like, supposed... another stairs. Here. Yeah, that's well, true. we're but... going to probably have to heal as well, like, rest, because we're all fatigued now. Indeed. Well, we'll work it out. But anyway, that'll be for another time. So until then, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!